Hello everyone, my name is Yanis and in this video we are going to have a brief talk about data exchange formats and more specifically about XML and JSON and why JSON is widely replacing XML nowadays. So, first of all, what data exchange formats are? Data exchange formats are standards that have been developed in order for applications to serve up data. And this is what we think of as an application programming interface, an API, an interface that two, that two different applications use in order to talk to each other. For example, one might be a client that wants to talk to a web server. How do they talk to each other? By sending data back and forth in some standardized way that they both know about, such as XML or JSON. XML stands for Extensible Markup Language and JSON for JavaScript Object Notation. JSON nowadays it's kind of moving forward, so in this video we are going to see why this is happening. JSON has some major advantages compared to XML. First of all, it's leaner than XML. Secondly, it's easy to read and easy to parse. And finally, supports many languages. If you go to this URL, you can scroll down to the bottom of the page and you can see all the languages that JSON supports. But now, let's go back and uh, see a specific example of a JSON object. So here I have created a JSON object with a few key value pairs. The keys are on the left side and the values are on the right side. To be more specific, a key it would be the ID and the value would be the number one. The same goes for the key name and the value John. As you can see, a JSON object is easy to read and this is because JSON uses minimum, uh, use minimum formatting and uh, release a few special characters in addition with the data. Another advantage, as we mentioned before, is that the JSON object is super easy to parse. For example, you can create an object with this data and then you can simply pass it to another object by just using a one-line command from any language that you might use it. And then you can just access and retrieve any of the elements of this object. So now if, you if we have a look at the same data expressed in XML notation, you can see that XML object is a lot larger and more verbose than a JSON object. That means that an XML, uh, excuse me, that an a JSON object, it will take uh, less space and uh, load faster in your application plus that parsing an XML object, it will be more complicated and time consuming. On the other hand, JSON has also some disadvantages. JSON's biggest weakness is its lack of defined data structures. For example, JSON defines only some simple variables, arrays, and hashes. Although the need for designing fast, uh, reliable, and easy to use APIs is the reason that uh, JSON is becoming the data exchange format of choice. So that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. See you next time.